what's the pitch of that note? Well, if you have absolute pitch, the rare ability to name pitches without a reference, then you would most probably be able to name the pitch of this oboe note. In fact, according to the theory of instrument-specific absolute pitch that Lindsay Remore and I, this Christian Hansen, present here, there's a good chance that you will also know the pitch if you play the oboe, even if you don't have absolute pitch. So what was that note? Stay tuned to find out at the end of the presentation. Absolute pitch has been studied quite extensively over the past several decades. For example, we now know that people are usually better at naming the pitch of complex tones than of sine tones. Yet research efforts have somewhat neglected to study the common observation that some people, maybe yourself included, can better identify pitches played on their primary instrument than pitches played on other instruments. In this project, we set out to develop and test a formal theory of this ability, which we call Instrument Specific Absolute Pitch, or ISAP. We think that this advantage may be related to the kinesthetic experience and intimate familiarity with an instrument's timbre that instrumentalists develop after many hours of daily practice. Our work so far has been published in two journal articles. In the first one, in Frontiers in Psychology, we presented our theory of ISAP and proposed several candidate mechanisms. We also reported results from case studies with two oboists. The second article in PLOS One is a registered reports protocol. Here we presented our plans to test the ISAP theory by conducting two experiments on a larger sample of oboists. Results are forthcoming. The goal of experiment one is to test whether our oboist participants show more accurate and more precise pitch identification for oboe tones compared to piano tones. To do so, we will meet virtually with professional oboists who identify the pitches of single note oboe and piano stimuli from the McGill University Master Samples or MUMS library. Our case study has found one person with ISAP, oboist one, who played that lovely opening note of this presentation, and one person without, oboist two. Note that they both showed weak quasi-absolute pitch by performing above chance for both oboe and piano tones, but that oboist one could identify oboe notes more accurately than the piano notes and with smaller errors as shown on the slide. The goal of experiment two is to find causal evidence for the underlying cognitive mechanisms of instrument-specific absolute pitch. We expect that people with ISAP may rely on two separate mechanisms. First, on tempo, cues, and intonational idiosyncrasies resulting from physical constraints of an instrument. Second, on articulatory motor planning, hearing and giving tone may activate the motor patterns required to play that specific pitch. We interfere with these proposed mechanisms by artificially pitch shifting tones and by asking participants to hold a pencil between their teeth and to wiggle the fingers of their left hand continually. In the case studies, the performance of oboist one who had ISAP was indeed negatively affected by these manipulations. As suspected, this was not the case for oboist two who didn't have ISAP. We also tested whether oboists would identify tones played by themselves or tones played on their own oboe any better. Because we found no effects of performer and oboe, these factors will not be tested in the pre-registered study. We use simulations to determine how many trials and participants are needed. We sampled 2,500 random subsets from Oboist 1's case study data with 4 to 16 simulated participants and 10 to 34 trials in each condition. We then looked at the distribution of p-values from mixed effects logistic regressions. Based on this, we will include 18 trials per condition and recruit at least eight Oboists demonstrating significant levels of ISAP. Summing up, it seems that some musicians can better name pitches played on their own instrument. These people with instrument-specific absolute pitch may be relying on timbral and intonational idiosyncrasies and articulatory motor planning. One of the two oboists in our case studies had ISAP. Her accuracy diminished for pitch-shifted notes and during motor interference. Our pre-registered study will assess the prevalence of ISAP among oboists and test whether these two mechanisms are used widely by those with ISAP. Stay tuned for our results. But wait, what was the pitch of that tone you played, Lindsay? In fact, this was A4, the orchestral tuning note most often played on the oboe. Both of our case study oboists always identified this pitch correctly. And maybe you did too. <laughs>